Hi all, Terhi here again. I'm playing with Mayheat Kids and I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I had really busy days, so I didn't do anything crafty in a few days, actually in a week or so. And I checked out from Instagram one great artist named Alisa Burke who makes gorgeous watercolor um, paintings and lots of lots of paintings and other other stuff and I was really inspired and once I got to some time to play with my hip kits I thought oh yeah now we have these gorgeous watercolors from Pima Marketing from our May color kit and now I'm going to use them just like Alicia do and I started to draw some flowers randomly on white cardstock and then painting them and I was like yay this is really cool and just about at this point I was like oh my god this is not cool thing it's it's really not that cool of course if I would practice more I would be better but then again I'm not that patient person and if I'm not happy with something I'm not going to use it but I tried and tried I colored all the flowers and then I thought okay I need to fix this somehow it it looks horrible so I took my black marker and did some uh, lines for each flowers and I thought, oh, maybe it's the colors, or maybe it's the leaves, they are too green, or this is too uh, fuchsia pink, some of the flowers, or anyway. I wasn't happy at all, but I made it, <laughs> I finished it, but again, I wasn't pleased, uh, I didn't like it at all, but I did it. And at this point I decided, well, I will draw some lines to each flower, so maybe that will fix it. But no, it wasn't good at all. So I left it and it's still there. I might do something with it. Maybe I'll cover it with gesso and it will be much lighter and I will cover it and the idea will go away. Or then I will light up a fire with this paper. But no, it wasn't good. So I took different kind of papers and some really pretty uh, round picture from Paris, a really classic picture from Eiffel Tower where I visited last spring and I thought okay now I'm going to do really good, I will um, kind of do my style, my um, favorite things from uh, this May make it and it will be good and I will use watercolors and it will be good and I said to myself this will be good like thousands of times as I'm saying now <laughs> on this video but no there was something missing and I have no idea what, what it was but it was something missing there but I did the layout I almost finished it and I was almost happy with it but there was something missing I don't know, was it the contrast missing because I used so light colors or then it was the design or then it was this uh, lime green watercolor I use, used, I don't know, but anyway, no, again, no, it wasn't good. So again, I put it aside and took <laughs> another supplies. At this point, I was really... Um, I was actually laughing for myself because, you know, when you haven't done any crafty stuff for a while and you have tons of inspiration, you have beautiful crafty tools next to you and everything is kind of really cool and beautiful, but nothing works. So I took all these lovely shimmel, shimmel papers from the May Hip Kit uh, paper kit and cut some hexagons with it um, and now I was like okay this this will be good 
We actually had this team day last Thursday in HipKit Club blog um, about using navy blue and pink in a layout. Um, and I thought, okay, this, this will be perfect for that. Even though I didn't have to do a layout with that team, but it, this started to feel really good, good. And I really love the colors and I mixed some crate paper papers between, which are adorable. And then I did this kind of mm, honeycomb design with the hexagons and I was really pleased with it. And also, I really loved the picture of my husband and my both daughters. Uh, it's quite old picture, but anyway, it works and uh, I'm kind of happy to use this round picture. It, it matches really perfectly with the hexagons, much better than any square picture or something like that, because it kind of softens the layout completely because the hexagons are really, there's a many corners in each, so I didn't want to have any more corners and a straight line for this layout. So that's why the round picture is just perfect. And I did use some shimmel stickers and shimmel ephemera from the May Hip Kids. And at this point, I wasn't laughing for myself anymore. I, I was starting to smile for myself because it was going well and I was really proud of me after making two lousy almost layouts and they wasn't good at all. Uh, I decided to use these lovely clear stickers from this uh, Shimmel sticker book because I really love the way they give uh, some green details for the background, but not too much. And as I already used watercolors two times and I wasn't that pleased for the results, I decided not to use that much watercolors for this layout. I did some splashes, of course. There's no my layout without splashes. Um, but not that much. I didn't paint anything. I didn't make any patterns with the watercolors. I just splashed them around. But first I added these wonderful uh, clear stickers because they are so bright green and matching perfectly for this picture. Because the, in the picture they are in my uh, mother-in-law's cabin um, in the middle of Finland and it was um, beautiful summer day, uh, lots of green around, so it was kind of repeating the theme. But as you see, I'm using the watercolors, the same watercolors which were in May Hip Kit uh, Color Kit from Prima Marketing, but I'm not using them like painting, I'm just mixing some, some perfect uh, green color and perfect pink color, and then I'm just adding it here and there, here and there, here and there. Not much, but some. And that's it. Uh, after the watercolor was uh, completely dry, I decided it needs something contrast still because uh, there are really dark areas with the navy blue, um, and I want to soften them with a white gel pen. But then again, I want to have some contrast to the lighter paper. So I did the same with black marker and that's it. I really love the way this layout turned <laughs> after struggling with the first two. But now it's cool, now it's pretty and now it's, now it's good. I'm happy. So don't be afraid if your layout sometimes sucks, to be honest. Just throw it away, put it aside, and continue with something else, and you will manage it perfectly. Uh, that's my advice for today. Some other day I might say something different, but today this worked for me. And now I'm smiling, I'm happy, and yeah, everything's good. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your patience with my two last layouts, and <laughs> we'll see you again next week. Bye!